It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and of course happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking as we're slowly winding down summer here with about two weekends to go, if you count this one. Yeah, so true, Ry. You know, time flies, whether you're having fun or not. I'm having a great time. Market's hitting all-time record highs, so things couldn't be better. How are things with you? Everything's well, Bob. You know, can't complain. Wish the weather was a little bit better, but you know what? I don't think anything can rain on your parade when the markets are doing well. Uh, sun's shining on the street of dreams. <laughs> That's all that matters. So, Bob, it turns out that Ben Franklin was actually right. You know, our favorite American or my favorite American from Philadelphia, considered the first American. He once wrote famously that early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And it turns out Ben Franklin was probably more right than he even knew when it comes to investing. In fact, research now shows that sleep-deprived people are more likely to have less diverse investment portfolios than those who sleep longer. So therefore, hmm. investors, yeah, believe it or not, sleep is highly correlated to better returns. In fact, you know what happens is if you're an investor doesn't get enough sleep, you end up making riskier investment decisions and then lose sleep worrying about what's happening to your money. Well, Ry, you know, it's not only do they make bad decisions, but I find that people don't sleep are grumpy. And, um, <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Money never sleeps. So you should. Compounding of your money is the magic sauce anyway. And it's going to happen whether you're awake or not. So just let it happen. <laughs> I prefer well-rested, diversified clients. So I think it's good for all parties. I agree. I agree. So what do you got for us today, buddy? All right, well, we got a great show to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about the fact that we're just average, normal human beings. Bob and I are going to discuss how often we get in our own way when it comes to making good financial planning decisions, above and beyond just getting sleep. We're going to talk about disturbing statistics. We're going to bring to light some of the more alarming stats about retirement nationwide and discuss how that's going to affect you and what you need to do, along with this week's Financial propaganda. There's a lot out there in the news, media. You need to avoid at all costs to make yourself a better investor. And we're going to have our star certified financial planner on the show this morning, Courtney Dominguez. She's going to talk about a real retirement plan that she worked on, talk about some of the ins and outs, some of the tweaks that you can make to your own planning to help you on your path to financial freedom. So let's hop right to it. Let's talk about how, Bob, we handicap ourselves because we are, as you would like to say, just average normal human beings when it comes to investing. And I think right now, you know, one of the more common things that we see is we leave too much money in cash for way too long because we just procrastinate and we cannot actively decide what to do. Right. What makes you think that $9 trillion sitting on the sidelines in cash in the greatest bull market in history is too much? Well, I mean, that's why it's called the most hated bull market of all time, Bob. I mean, let's face it. I mean, the market's done tremendously well. In fact, right now, we just broke the record. It's the longest bull market of all time, but most of us really haven't been fully invested, which is kind of crazy. Well, I think we got to differentiate, right? There's a difference between household cash and portfolio cash. So with household cash, Ry, what's the rule of thumb in terms of how much you need to keep in those accounts? Yeah, what we advise, Bob, is typically have at least, on average, six months worth of expenses, right? You got to have some cushion, but you don't want to overdo it because money sitting in cash earns virtually nothing. Well, you know, I just talked to a Bank of America representative yesterday. I was helping a client out in their cash management. And I said, well, exactly how much are you paying my client on their cash? And it was 0.14. I said, wait a minute. My <laughs> clients are getting 1.7 to 2 why can't you pay them that? He goes, oh, they just have to keep 100000 liquid with us. I mean, it's unbelievable what you're not getting, even if you ask what you're not getting on your cash. Yeah, and I think you know we forget, too, now that we're seeing interest rates have gone up a little bit, right? I saw some CDs you can get for 2%, 2.5%, mm -hmm. and it actually sounds high given how low interest rates are. But I think in context 
of your investment portfolio, it's still a terrible yield. <laughs> I mean, getting two and a half really percent, is. even three percent on your money, you're losing against the cost of living long term. And it's very destructive to the total return of your portfolio. And I don't think a lot of you understand how much cash you have until you take a look at your portfolio in concert with every other account that you have. When we add your portfolio into the portal, it tells us exactly how much is sitting in cash. And people are shocked. I mean, we just brought a new client in last week, right? 750000 in cash. Right. And, point know, zero one percent. $4 million dollar portfolio. And they said, you know, Bob, how's that possible? And I said, well, let's take a look. And it was right there. And it adds up when you have lots of different accounts, but nobody's paying attention. Yeah. And I think that's the real value. I love our 360 portal for that reason. You know, just being able to load all your accounts and look at them in one place. Because, you know, normally you get your statements, you look at one account, you look at the other. But to really get a bird's eye view of everything together is a very, very powerful thing. And you can make much better investment decisions when you know how all the parts are working. And again, I think that's a good point. You might not even know how much cash you're sitting on right now just because you have so many different accounts. And all that mm -hmm. cash adds up. Like to your point, Bob, if you have over $700,000 in cash and you're earning a measly, let's call it 1%, man, you're really behind the eight ball when it comes to retirement planning. Well, you know, you're talking about Ben Franklin earlier, right? And all the famous things that he said. And I don't know if he said this or somebody else did, but take care of the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. It's really important to keep your money compounding in your investment accounts and not have a lot of cash hoping and praying for somebody to ring the bell <laughs> to tell you there's a phenomenal opportunity in the marketplace. Yeah, and that's a good point, because I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's hard to make a decision right now. The market just hit an all-time high this past week. So you think, I'm going to put my money in the market. It's going to correct or it's going to collapse tomorrow. Because anytime I do something, it's always the wrong time. Or worse, okay, then I'll put my money in the bond market. Well, interest rates are starting to go up. So I know if I put my money in the bond market right now, I'm going to see interest rates go up. My bond prices are going to go down. So I'm between a rock and a hard place. But to your point, Bob, it's not really about if the price is going to go up or down. It's about compounding your money or the cash flow your portfolio generates. Yeah, so true. You know, when you have a portfolio that has a component of dividends and interest, you make money every day. It doesn't matter if it goes up or down. I mean, flip a coin. You got a 50% chance of the market being up or down on Monday morning. It doesn't matter what it does. What matters is that you invest on a plan and you just don't invest in a collection of investments. You know, compounding over time takes care of everything. Yeah, it cures all ills is probably not a bad way to put it. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's exactly what I need. Right now, I have lots of different accounts. I have no idea what I'm earning on my money. You know, I haven't made a decision on a lot of my cash because I am afraid right now. Here's your shot to get a full review. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that looks at everything. Simply bring in those statements or print them off the printer, bring them in a folder, brown paper bag. We're going to go through all of it for you. And we're going to build you your own personalized portal where we can look at everything holistically. We can look and see how much cash you're really sitting on, how well you're really diversified, all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement, you need to replace income when you retire. What's your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the cash flow in your portfolio to fill in that income gap. We're going to look at diversification. We're going to look at all that cash you're sitting on. We're going to look at if the market pulls back tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. There's so many hidden costs in your portfolio. I know it's shocking. Bob and I are going to show you where all those hidden costs are on those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, and show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket every year. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Here's your chance. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved 200000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. But of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844 752 
844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. This is Rye. We're the pain of no pain, no gain financial radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist and Managing Director here at Payne Capital Management. Wall Street threw a birthday party for the stock market this week, celebrating the longest bull market in history. Based on the low set back in March of 2000 for the S&P 500 index, this bull is 3,453 days old a little over nine years and higher by a whopping 320 percent now the previous record according to the wall street journal was set between october 1990 and march of 2000 except a lot of people invited to the party like us didn't show up since in our mind the new high in the market this week which was a new all-time record high in the s p was just another wednesday in august Like many, we think in terms of secular bull markets, and historically, secular bull and bear markets run about 14 years. And in these terms, the longest bull market in history, in my mind, started in 1982 and ended in the tech bubble of 2000. That's a period of 18 years. See, the point is, different people have different definitions for what is a bull market, and it's just not that important in the grand scheme of things. Here's what I know. Higher is better than lower. More is better than less. Gaining is better than losing. And bull markets are much more fun than bear markets. See, it doesn't matter what the birth certificate says on this current market or what the born on dating date, you know, for you Budweiser fans is on the current bull. This market is booming and has been booming since its bottom in 2009. Now, bull markets simply don't die of old age. They don't reach a certain length and then just keel over. What really matters is the underlying valuation. And believe it or not, the S&P 500 stocks are cheaper today, even though the price is at an all-time record high than it was at the beginning of 2018. And that's because earnings have grown at a 20% annual rate. Moreover, value stocks, you know, companies like Exxon and JP Morgan are trading at much lower valuation than growth stocks like Google and Amazon. And international and emerging market stocks are trading at valuations much lower than U.S.-based companies. So in spite of certain indices making new all-time record highs this week, there's plenty of opportunities to deploy your hard-earned capital. It serves you well to remember that all dips in all markets are temporary and new highs inevitable. And simply put, a well-diversified portfolio presents opportunities to buy low on a daily basis. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my goals, to my family's dreams? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If your advisor reminds you of Gordon Gecko, Fisherman always sees another fisherman from afar. It might be time for a fresh perspective. It's Ryan Payne. Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we are simple men. And of course, we like to keep it simple for you. That's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a great baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH. That's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So, Bob, I thought in this segment we could talk about some of the more distressing statistics about retirement nationwide. And the best way to address some of this data and one of the more disconcerting statistics that I've seen recently is 76% of baby boomers aren't confident that they have enough money saved for retirement. That's a huge number. Yeah, well, actually, right. I guess the good news is 24% of them are confident. They're all our clients, Bob. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> actually, believe it or not, even that number's down from 2012, where it was 36% of the population was confident. 
And the thing I don't understand about the baby boomers, right? All they have to do is sit down with a fiduciary and run some numbers to see where they are, what they own, why they own it, what it means to them over their lifetime. Just a matter of taking some time and looking at it because there are things you can do to make sure you have that certainty in retirement. Yeah. I mean, just anecdotally, looking at our client base and people come into our offices, I mean, it's almost every time when you sit down with us, we look at it and most people would say, I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for retirement. I don't know if I can retire. And just running the analysis of what you need to spend, what's inflation going to look like? What about healthcare costs? Looking at all the things you need to run to create a true retirement plan, it's a very therapeutic process. Because I'd say most of the time, even if you think you can't retire by running those numbers, you probably can. And if you can't, we figure out exactly what tweaks you need to make so you can get there and get to retirement when you want to. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of times you just think, I'm not sure, so I'll just keep you know, getting more and more aggressive. You know, Most of you are taking more risk. I mean, think about that. You're taking more risk in your portfolio than you need to take to achieve your financial goals. But you don't know because no one's run those projections. Now, the time that it'll come to fruition, the time that'll come to your attention is when, right? When will they when it, finally realize they're taking too much risk? Invariably, Bob, when it's too late, right? I mean, look at 2008. It's the perfect example. You know, We know a lot of people that had to go back to work because they had their money just way too aggressively. They had either been close to retirement or retired already, and nothing's worse than thinking, I have to work longer than I thought I had to. Or worse, I've got to go back to work because I didn't put the right protection in place. And right now, more than ever, we've had a 10-year bull market. You have to make sure that you're protected because you're 10 years older than you were back when 2008 hit. So you know, you've got to have a different game plan than you used to. Yeah, I mean, investing is not about outperformance. It's not about a collection of investments. It's not even about making money. Making money is not a goal, right? Having a reason to make money is a goal. You know, Having a need to have a lifetime of income you can't outlive. Now, there's a goal. And a lot of people don't realize that they don't know what to do. I mean, let's take your 401ks, right? Why don't people know how to invest in their 401k? Well, it's kind of scary. And the statistic, Bob, that I can attach to that is 30% of workers, they don't know what to do with their 401k funds. And I think that's pretty scary because let's face it, that's probably one of your biggest nest eggs for retirement, right? Mm -hmm. And in, typically in your 401k, you have very limited options and you get very little help. You know, when you have a 401k plan, there's not someone really there holding your hand telling you how you allocate this money. And more importantly, how is that correlated to what your goals are? That's one of the biggest surprises I've had over the last 20 years, right, with 401ks. The bigger the company, you know, the bigger the corporation, you know, the more blue chip the company, the smaller the menu that they give their employees to invest in. And they don't give them any help whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, kind of we're a... doing rollovers. We're recommending that people do what are called in-service distributions. As soon as you hit 59 and a half, simply to be able to invest your money in a more diversified, safer fashion. So it just surprises the daylights out of me when I see how small the menu is on most of these 401k plans, <laughs> 403b plans. So in a lot of cases, it's not their fault. But you, yeah, know, I mean, you need to get some advice on that. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, right? You're one of the best companies in America and you have the lousiest 401k plan. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Where, where's, right? the, yeah, where's the thought process behind this? You think you'd have the best 401k plan and it really doesn't typically work out that way, which is kind of crazy. You're sitting there and you're taking more risk than necessary. You have way more cash in your portfolio than you need to have. It's not deployed properly. And over the last 20 years, you've only averaged about a 2% return on your portfolio where you could have been compounding at 6 to 7%. That means you double your money in how many years, right? I do the math correctly, Bob. If you had what type of return? About a 6 7% return, or even a 5 6% That's, return. You're saying right, roughly every 10 years, you're doubling your money. So if you can double your money every 10 years and you haven't, why is that, right? Why do most of you underperform in risk assets that you do invest in? Well, talking about another crazy statistic, Bob, if you go from the last 20 years ending in 2015, the market did average 9.85% a year. So you just think to yourself, well, I'll just put my money in the market and that's almost a 10% return a year on my money. Well, the disturbing statistic here is most of us have only earned a 5% return over that time frame, and mainly because we've let our emotions get involved, right? And I would argue because most of us don't get professional advice. It's very, very hard to stay invested in the markets. And we talked about this last 10 years, again, being 
being the longest now bull market of all time, but most of us really haven't participated, Bob. And I think most of it has to do with the fact that we're not getting great advice. Right. I have an additional disturbing statistic. 25% of my peers that are 65 years old are going to live past 90. Well, I mean, that's, is that disturbing, Bob, or is that good news? I think it's probably good for living longer. You haven't planned for it. Yeah, no, that's the problem, right? It, the good news is we are living longer. That's not a disturbing statistic. Let's make sure we clarify. Well, especially but, as I'm sitting here at 65 thinking that's a very good statistic. I'm happy about that. That's why, Bob, we're not going to let you retire for a very long time. But no, I but keep the, hearing the, that, bro. I keep hearing <laughs> that. <laughs> you're not allowed to retire. But the point here is if you're 65 and let's say you are thinking about retiring, that's a very traditional retirement age. Well, that's 25 years your portfolio has to last for in retirement if you live to age 90. That's a long, long time. We didn't have this same issue with the last generation, with your parents, because they just didn't live as long. So now longevity is such a key component. And that's why investing your money now and doing it right is so much more critical than it used to be. Yeah, right. I mean, today you have medical advancements that we never dreamed of 25, 30 years ago, technology we never dreamed of 30 years ago. What's going to happen in the next 30 years? You're going to have phenomenal advancements in medical technology and cures. People will live longer. People do live healthier. You know, baby boomers, hey, we don't age. We're still 18 <laughs> when we look in the mirror. So we plan on living a long, long time. And, you know, if you're sitting here thinking, you know, I may be one of those lucky folks that are going to live into the 90s, into 100, and I'm thinking I need to be financially healthy. I need to know what I own in my portfolio is appropriate to achieving those goals. I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to know if I'm positioned to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity to know. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over 200,000 saved for your retirement, Ryan and I will run for you our total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. This is the only review you'll ever need. What we'd like you to do is gather all your statements, put them in a folder, put them in a shopping bag. We don't care. Don't even open them. Bring them in, make an appointment. We're going to review everything with you to build your own personalized 360 financial portal. This will allow you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience. What we're going to do is we're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. That's diversification, fees and income. We want to be certain that you are diversified across asset classes and within asset classes. You can't afford to have those overlaps to have a bulletproof portfolio. We want to look at fees. There's lots of hidden costs. You know, there's fees that are buried deep in the prospectus of that mutual fund or in that thick insurance contract. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged and I certainly don't want to be overcharged by a portfolio. And lastly, we want to look at your income. We want you to have a reliable, repeatable income source to fill that income gap once you are retired. And more importantly, we want you to stay retired. And lastly, we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds at success that only a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So here's your shot. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Make sure you're on track financially speaking. Here's your shot to do it. That's 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. 
They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there in the horrid, provocative world of financial propaganda this week? Right in the world of major banks, um, yes. who do you think got another black eye? <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess. It's got to be Wells Fargo because they're on a hot streak for bad news. They really are. And it's a very low interest rate environment. It has been, you know, for the last 10 years. And of course, these banks, they're beholding not to you, their clients, but to their shareholders. So they're always looking for ways, you know, to increase their revenue. So the latest black eye for them is they've been encouraging their fiduciary advisors to push their clients into more complex products. Now, when you hear complex, Rye, what really comes to mind? High fees, and I have a feeling that the brokers at Wells Fargo got paid very handsomely, Bob. <laughs> My wild oh, yeah. guess. Well, Ra, your wild guess is spot on. They want you to buy hedge <laughs> funds, you know, with a two and 20 fees and private equity funds, which are illiquid, separate managed accounts with portfolios where they can trade options at higher fees. They just can't seem to get it straight. As a fiduciary, you're supposed to be doing what's in the best interest of the client. And Wells well, Fargo has been on a losing streak for some time now, right? It began with their bank branches who were under a lot of pressure. So they started opening up fake accounts. Then they had to pay a billion dollar fine, you know, to resolve the allegations that they were abusive in their mortgage business and their <laughs> auto lending business. So this is just another yeah. black eye, not just for Wells Fargo, but for the banking industry. They're the ones that seem to keep getting caught. So if you're looking at your Wells Fargo account, you got to be wondering, why am I still there? Yeah, it's amazing. And I'll tell you what's even scarier is we had this fiduciary rule that came out, it was rolled out, and it actually was going to make all advisors a mandatory thing to have to start acting in the client, you, your best interest. And that's actually been rolled back <laughs> in the last couple yeah. months. So, you know, Merrill Lynch, where we came from, is a perfect example where for a while there, they were going to force their advisors to act in the best interest of the client. And then they said, well, actually, you know, we don't really have to do that anymore. So it's not really good news in general for the brokerage industry because you don't have to act in your best interest. And that's important for you, the consumer, to know that whoever you're working with, you really want to make sure that they are a fiduciary. And if they're not, it's time to start looking, in my opinion, Bob. Right. Every meeting I have with you and I tell them that, you know, your custodian, your stockbroker, your insurance agent doesn't have to act in your best interest. They're incredulous. They're like, how can anyone possibly be in what's called the financial services, I'd emphasize services industry, and not have to act in my best interest. I said, well, they had a chance. The Obama administration passed a rule where they would have to, but now they uh, put pressure on the new administration and they repealed it. So now they don't have to work <laughs> in your best interest. It's amazing that you'd have an industry that steps on its foot every single chance they get. The solution is very simply, right? Make sure that you work with a fiduciary who has to act in your best interest. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And I think that you're going to see more and more of that as we move forward. Yeah, I have to think that that's going to be who gets the lion's share of the market share because it just makes so much sense. Too much sense, Bob. You sent me an article this week as well, which I just thought was so good that I thought I'd share it here on the radio show this morning. And do tell. I will tell. I will tell. <laughs> this article is written talking about how financial advisors who brag the most often give you the least, <laughs> which I thought that's a great thing to know. And basically, the article goes on to talk about you know when you're looking at the financial advisor you're working with or could be working with, you know, the best practices that you want to have when you're working with a financial advisor is the three C's. You want someone who's very concise, very mm -hmm. conversational, 
and very confident, but most importantly, the conversation's about you, not about them, which apparently is a problem in our industry. It's a big problem, right? Because you have advisors who are more interested in telling than listening because they were brought up as salespeople and salespeople like to talk. They like to talk about themselves. You know, we brought a new client in last week. He said, you know, the number one reason why I'm transferring to paying capital is I'm sick and tired of hearing about this stockbroker's trips. All they talk about is the <laughs> trips he and his family are going, these fabulous <laughs> trips. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm paying for these trips. You know, where's my trip? You know, where's my yacht? Yeah, that's a bad look, <laughs> as we say. It really is. And I think it's one of these things that doesn't get talked about enough that, let's face it, if you're going to work with a financial professional, money is a very personal relationship. It's a very emotional thing. And you know, I find this with my client relationships. A lot of times you're going to tell your financial advisor things you wouldn't even tell your family. I think that relationship is so important that you need to work with someone that you really, really like. You know, How many of us kind of like our advisor? Maybe they're a buddy from college. Or maybe they were our neighbor in our old neighborhood and they've just been our advisor forever. We don't really know what they're up to, if they're really in our best interest or not. But I think it's something we take too lightly. And it's so critical to have that great relationship and someone who genuinely has your back. So, right, you know what happens is that trust is not earned at the beginning of a relationship. It comes during a relationship. That's why it's so critical to have an advisor who's interested in you. You know, if they're asking about you and not talking about themselves, that allows you to build that trust that that person has your best interest at heart. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, in a great litmus test to this article's point is if you find an advisor that just loves to talk about themselves, <laughs> especially at a cocktail party and they're telling you just how amazing they are, that's probably a red flag right from the beginning. But to your point, Bob, it is really about the longer term trust that gets earned. But I think, you know, upfront, some of the things you want to take into account are is someone taking a genuine interest in you and what you're trying to achieve because it is all about achieving your goals. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to deal with a fiduciary, someone who has to act in my best interest. I have the money at the bank right now. I'm not sure that broker at the bank's working in my best interest. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement and you're one of the next few callers, we have a couple slots left. Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's our full holistic review where we give you a full financial analysis on everything. Simply bring in your statements print them off the printer, put them in a brown paper bag, however you want to do it. We'll sort through all of it in the office. We're going to build you your own portal so we can take a bird's eye view of your whole financial picture and take a look at where you're going. And we're going to look at all those critical components. We're going to look at things like fees. Have you been sold a lot of products? Are there a lot of high cost commissions? unnecessary fees inside of your investments. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. Is your portfolio generating enough current income to fill in your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio retirement ready? What inherent risks do you have in your portfolio that you don't know about? If the market corrects or goes down tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio and make sure you're protected in retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies? Now we've been perfecting for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost and no strings attached, except there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. 6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. We are going to do up down until blue is no longer tired and thirsty. To get in shape, head to the gym. To get financially secure, keep it tuned here to no pain, no gain. It's no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I like to keep it simple. We like common sense. And that's why we give you common sense advice. And that's why we put together our latest video series, 
what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. It's just a great baseline to get you started on the retirement planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can even subscribe to the show, have it delivered to your inbox on a weekly basis. You can catch me on Fox Business News, CNBC, most weeks talking about the market, giving our latest views of where we think the economy and the markets are going. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we'll answer it right here on the show. And to help us answer those questions this week, we have our producer, Mark Haywood from North Carolina, right here in studio, actually virtually in studio with our questions. How you doing, Mark? How's married life? How's life in general? Oh, man, I am recovering. I recently took my, you know, I've been married a month now, so my fresh father-in-law out for his birthday, and we had this big plan we were going to take him down the river on a river float, you know, get a big inner tube and sit down with some drinks and relax, and then go out for this nice dinner after, get cleaned up, go out to dinner. Okay. Well, we get stuck in a driving rainstorm, have to scramble up the bank of the river to get out of the way of the lightning, <laughs> get cut to pieces, blistered up, have to walk two miles back to the car. By the time we get home, everybody's soaked, muddy, and scratched to pieces, and we said, you know what? Forget the steak dinner. We're going to order Domino's and watch preseason football <laughs> instead. So I'm working on my impression with the family as we speak. <laughs> well, hopefully the beer tasted really good after that uh, ordeal. <laughs> Skip straight to the Blantons, straight to the Blantons. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, we do have a couple of good questions that have come in this week. Let's take one from Gloria in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Gloria says, Bob, our house is a lot bigger than what we need now, so we should probably downsize. But it's the place where we raised our family, so I'm emotionally attached to it. Is it foolish to keep it when we could live somewhere else cheaper? Hey, Gloria, I don't blame you. Doylestown is a beautiful, beautiful town. I was just there last weekend. One of my clients' daughters was married in a beautiful mansion in downtown Doylestown. But you know what? I just sold my home one town over in Gwinnett Valley three years ago. And it was tough, you know, because I was emotionally attached to the home, especially my spouse. She loved that home. We raised our three children there. But, you know, one night I realized that, you know, we had all these empty rooms and all I was really paying for was to keep my furniture warm in the winter and keep <laughs> it very comfortable in the summer, you know, because it gets pretty hot up there in Pennsylvania where we live. And I also started to realize that not only was the house getting older, but I was getting older and all the parts of it were getting older. So pretty soon it was going to need a new roof, new air conditioner, new heater, you know, a new generator, and it starts to add up. And then the thing that really was the coup de grace that really made it so simple for me to finally put the house on the market was it turned out that my landscaper used to be an orthopedic surgeon, but he was making so much money doing my <laughs> landscape that he quit being an orthopedic surgeon so that he could actually just do landscaping full time. Of course, that's tongue in cheek, but you know how much landscaping costs every year? So, Rod, you know how I feel about owning older houses and becoming mostly attached and downsizing and how smart it is. Bob, I think no one loves to downsize more than you after unloading one of your biggest assets only a couple of years ago. And you know, we see that a lot now. I think you really have to weigh out the cost of home ownership. You forget it sounds great to own because you think you own equity in something, but you got to look at the carrying costs. And especially if you live in New Jersey right now and you think about your real estate taxes every year, and all the carrying costs of the unexpected things that happen along the way. As we love the joke, Bob, your municipal bond portfolio isn't going to call you in the middle of the night because you know, the roof caved in or there's a water leak. So it can be very, very cost prohibitive. And I think, yeah, you have to factor in, does it make sense to sell the real estate when I'm retired? Because it can have a huge impact on you living comfortably. Well, you know, Ryan, you make a great case and a great point about carrying costs. I mean, just take real estate taxes. What do you think is going to happen in states like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, where these municipalities and these states are basically tax crack addicts? And all <laughs> they ever talk about and all they're ever looking for is 
ways to raise more taxes. What do you think is going to happen to Gloria's real estate taxes? You think they're going down in the next 20 years? <laughs> I have news for you, Gloria. They're probably not. Well, thanks for writing in, Gloria. If nothing else, we've learned that, Ryan, your career as an advisor better work out because you're not going home, it sounds like. <laughs> not <laughs> not enough sad, room sad for sad you story. anymore. Sad story, Mark. <laughs> All hey, right. Mark, don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> you like your setup now. Oh, boy. Well, let's move over now before I get into a family feud here on the radio to Harry in Morristown. Harry says, Ryan, my daughter just turned 18. Congratulations, Harry. Talking about getting people out of the house. And I'd like to help get her off on the right foot with retirement retirement savings. What's the best way to get her started? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I think 18 is a great age to start. And one thing actually, Bob, you had set up for me when I was younger is a Roth IRA. You know, if let's say that your kid has some sort of income she's generating, maybe from summer jobs, if she's going to college, you can take that income effectively and you can put it into a Roth IRA account where not only does the money grow tax-free, but you can take it out tax-free later. So, you know, I think that's a great place to start. And I think anytime you can help with your kids or your grandkids and get them started on the right track. Another thing is a 529 plan. If you have grandkids that you're looking to fund for college, another way to tax free, save money, put away money for them and get money out of your own estate. And that can even be used for things like private school now where it wasn't able to be used in the past. But Bob, that Roth IRA, man, I still have it today. That was an awesome thing to get me started with when I was young. You know, Ryan, any way you can encourage children to save, the earlier save, obviously, we talked about compounding all day today. It's in their best interest. They're going to create so much wealth by simply the laws of investing, by having money invested, the earlier the better. But you know what I'm also finding with our clients? We have a lot of affluent clients who've done very well, who have set up trust for their children or have an estate that's growing by the day. We're having them gift money to their children so they can maximize their 401k contribution, which a lot of us can't do between 18 and 30 because we're busy, you know, on household formation. But, you know, there's things like HSA accounts, Roth IRAs, maximizing the 401k. Why not put those children out and get them started on the right step, you know, towards financial independence? doesn't mean you got to spoil them, right, Rye? But you know what? It's good <laughs> things people can do if they have more money than they need during their lifetime. I prefer spoiling, Bob, so <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Perfect place for the offer, by the way. Ryan, right, I have a question for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how organized financially would you say Harry and Gloria are? I would say, Bob, unfortunately, sounds like a 3. They're not there yet. And I have a question for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how financially organized would you like to be? Well, of course you'd want to be a 10. And if you want to be a 10, and if you're one of our next few callers and saved over $200,000 for retirement, well, we're going to put you on that path the financial independence. If you're one of our next few callers, we're going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a holistic view of your entire net worth. Not only does it show you what you're worth in real time on a daily basis, but it also displays how you're tracking towards the great goals of life. If you're one of the next few callers, all you need to do is gather all those financial statements that have been coming in over the last couple of months, throw them in a folder, put them in a brown paper bag and pick up the phone and call or text us for an appointment. We're gonna break down your portfolio into three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. We wanna be certain that your portfolio is truly diversified across asset classes and within asset classes to bulletproof that portfolio against any unforeseen volatility. We wanna look at your cost. I don't know about you, but I really don't like being overcharged and I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my own portfolio. And lastly, let's look at income. We all need cash flow, whether we're retired or getting ready to retire, or if we're in retirement, we want to stay retired and cash flow is the key. We want to create a repeatable, dependable income stream for you and for your family. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one comprehensive master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, Payne Capital Management's been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B goals and dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. 
So call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we have a few slots left. If you call us right now at 844-752-6692, that's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. 6692. That's call or text 844 752 6692. This is no pain, no game. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men. So of course, we like to keep it simple for you, give you some common sense advice to help you with your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Great baseline to get the financial planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Again, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's bullish, to 555-888. And now, we have a very, very special guest on the show this morning. My colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. Good morning, Court. <laughs> good morning. Thank you guys for having me. It's a real pleasure. As always. <laughs> <laughs> always good to hang with you on the weekend, Court. And this is our spotlight segment. And what we do here is typically we take a real financial plan that we worked on and then we just dissect some of the changes, tweaks, advice that you gave to help a certain couple get what we would call on the track for financial freedom, let's say. So why don't you break down the case that you worked on and give us the give us the rundown? Of course. So a recent case I was working on is a couple who is in their mid-60s and they are just actually less than a year away from retirement right now, which is a big turning point in their lives. Down the home stretch. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So their whole purpose of sitting down with us is they said, you know, we have somebody we work with who's selling us products, but we've really never run a financial plan and we don't know if we're prepared to retire this year. So that was the red flag. They've been working with this advisor for a long time who has a shingle out there as a financial planner, but they've never had retirement projections run. Exactly. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and knowing that you're prepared before you retire is really important before you make that decision, but also gives you your own peace of mind once you know, are you ready? Do you have enough assets? Do you have enough income coming in? It can really add a lot less stress to your lives if you run that plan for you. <laughs> Yeah, what happens when you have a stockbroker who calls himself a financial advisor or whatever title they're given changes all the time, you really don't end up with a portfolio based on your goals. You end up with a collection of investments or a collection of ideas that really have no coordination. So in this case, it looks like they have a lot of ideas in their portfolio, Courtney. What was the reaction to that? What did you find, Court? (laughs) Exactly. Kind of the first thing off the bat when I took a look at their portfolio, their position for somebody who's in the early years of their career, not somebody Mm -hmm. who's just finishing up their career. So to put that in perspective, in a down market, they could see their accounts drop by about $400,000. Ouch. That would that hurt hurts. when you're nearing retirement. They don't need that kind of risk. Yeah, it's one thing if you're you know, in your 40s, maybe in arguably early 50s, and you're working, you're putting money away. But man, if you're a year away from retirement, and all of a sudden we get a huge stock market pullback like we did in 2008, man, you know, take a $400,000 hit, that hurts not only your wallet, but psychologically too, because now you have to draw on this portfolio. 
Exactly. Wait a minute, right? That happened in 2008. It never happened before then, did it? I mean, Bob, <laughs> you, you have the scars to prove it. How many times did you see the market correct severely like 2008 in your career? Well, we had 2000, and then we had 1987. We had a two-day bear market down 35%. And you know, a lot of times, these stockbrokers tell these people, we can predict these things. Well, nobody could predict a 35% decline in two days. But you certainly can take advantage of it if you're positioned properly. And they're certainly not positioned for a black swan event or a big decline in the market, which no one can predict. No one. Right. And another big thing about being positioned like that is they're really positioned for more in the growth mode, not the capital preservation and income, which is really more where you want to be in retirement. And this couple is a great example where they have some income streams coming in, like, for example, Social Security, but it's yes. not going to cover their day to day living expenses once they don't have a paycheck coming in any longer. And the way they're set up right now, their portfolio is not going to generate enough income for them to fill their retirement income gap. So, Court, if I'm reading this right, it looks to me like just repositioning the portfolio every single year, forget about the market going up or down, you're able to generate an additional 42 grand a year in income on the portfolio just by tweaking it so it's more what we would call retirement ready as opposed to in a growth portfolio like they have today. That's crazy. That's exactly right. And coincidentally enough, that is exactly how much extra they need in retirement. It's about an extra $40,000. So look at well, that. Well, it's not nice just, it's just not increasing the yield. It's also cutting their expenses. They're being overcharged in this portfolio from my uh, perspective. Exactly. Yeah, not only are we increasing the income, we're cutting their fees, which is a double savings, really. And you know, when you, you cut guys, their fees, Courtney, that money goes right into their pocket, right? That's, that's income yes. that they wouldn't have. That's exactly right. When you guys had talked about that earlier, saying, you know, a lot of people tend to underperform the stock markets. The average investor doesn't tend to do as well as the stock markets are. One big reason that can happen as well is if you're paying too high in fees, your portfolio has to do that much better than the stock markets just to make up for it. And this couple is paying almost 1.6% in fees. So they'd have to do close to 2% better than the markets just to break even. And so that really ends up eating away from your returns in the long run. Do they have any idea no, they were Courtney. paying those type of fees? They did not. You know, Courtney, a lot, uh, Ryan and I spoke a lot about compounding in the show today. And I see your projection just by compounding additional income that you can generate by cutting fees and adding it to more conservative investments they're able to basically double their portfolio value in 20 years. I mean, who exactly. wouldn't want an additional million eight by simply being more conservative? I can tell you I would. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Who wouldn't want to be a C-Money Courtney Dominguez client? Just answer that question, please. I'm on board with you, Bob. <laughs> well, great job, Courtney C-Money Dominguez. In other words, Bob would call financial masterpiece. <laughs> and if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a review like this. I need to know what my income gap is in retirement. Can I fill it? Can I create income that's reliable as opposed to being reliant on market fluctuations for my total portfolio return? Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement and you call right now, myself, Bob, Courtney Dominguez will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this. If you bring in your statements, print them out, put them in a folder. We're going to go through all of it. We're going to build you your own personalized portal to view everything from a holistic bird's eye view. And we're going to look at a lot of the same things here. You know, What are you going to need in retirement to live on? When was the last time you had a wealth projection done? We're going to make sure we update all that to make sure that you are on track for retirement. You can retire. We're going to look at income. We were able to increase the income on this portfolio by over 40 grand a year. That's real money. Can we help you optimize or increase the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in portfolios. This couple is paying another $10,000 a year in fees. They didn't have to be. We're going to show you how to reduce cost so it's more money in your pocket every year as you look to retire or are retired now. And we're going to look at diversification. This couple's portfolio could go down $400,000 in a bad market. What is your downside risk? How can we help protect you against the next market decline? We're going to do all those things. We're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. Here's your chance to get financially organized. Give us a call or text 844 752 
6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next few lucky callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but unfortunately, there's no plan unless you text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Well, another fantastic show, and it's always great to have you, Courtney, see money on the show. Thanks for having me, as always. <laughs> Big Bob, what's on tap for the rest of the weekend, as I always ask? I got a ton of financial journals to get through before the opening bell on Monday, Rye, so I got to get to it. Bob, you're a working man. Doesn't matter, rain or shine, the weekend, you know, you're always studying the markets. I admire that. Well, I got to take care of you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Well, have a great weekend, and as always... Be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.